வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த தியரிஸ் ஆஃப் ஹியரிங் தியரிஸ் ஆஃப் ஹியரிங் இஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்பெஷல் சென்சஸ் தியரிஸ் ஆஃப் ஹியரிங் தியரிஸ் ஆஃப் ஹியரிங் டிவைட் இன் டு த டூ குரூப்ஸ் first group is based on the frequency analysis done by the auditory cortex first group theories are rutherford telephone theory and wallet theory both the theories are first group theory rutherford telephone theory and wallet theory so these theories explain the frequency of analysis done by the auditory cortex second group of theories are young helmholtz resonance theory place theory and traveling wave theory these theories explain the frequency of analysis done by the cochlea cochlea is important for the sound frequency analysis rutherford telephone theory this theory was proposed in 1880 according to the rutherford telephone theory otherwise called as the frequency theory according to the rutherford telephone theory cochlea is act as the telephone transmitter so cochlea convert the sound signal sound sound waves into the electrical signal so when it is reaches the cortex it is again it is perceived as the sound so the cochlea is act as the telephone transmitter the cortex is analyze the frequency of the sounds so cortex is important for the perception and analysis of the sound frequency this rutherford theory only explains uh, frequency around 1000 cycles or 1000 impulses per second this is the drawback of the rutherford telephone theory wallet theory was proposed by waver in 1949 wallet means groups so this wallet theory explain the transmission of the sound more than 1000 impulses per second 1000 cycles per second telephone rutherford for theory explain only the less than 1000 cycles per second but wall is a theory explain the sound frequency more than 1000 impulses per second uh, these sounds are transmitted by the different group of the nerve fibers the resonance theory of helmholtz this is the first theory of hearing this was proposed in 1863 so cochlea is analyze the frequency of the sound in the resonance theory of the helmholtz the cochlea basilar membrane contains more than 20000 basilar fibers so the basilar fibers are act as the resonators of the piano so if the particular basilar fibers are or uh, analyze the particular frequency of this sounds like uh, when the sound is produced from the resonators of piano particular you press the particular uh, button it will produce a particular tone of the sound like that the basilar fibers the different basilar fibers produce the uh, analyze the different frequency of the sound this theory is not accepted because the in the cochlea does not contain the does does not analyze the different frequency of the tone the different areas so this is the resonance theory of the helmholtz 
place theory is the mostly accepted theory according to the place theory the cochlea is analyzes the frequency of the sound the different portion of the basilar membrane respond to the different frequency of the sound the basal portion of the basilar membrane in the cochlea respond to the high frequency sound apical region of the basilar membrane in the cochlea respond to the low frequency sound this is the place theory so traveling wave theory also mostly accepted theory so according to the traveling wave theory when the sound wave is transmitted from the middle ear to the inner ear it uh, stabilizes strike on the vowel window this traveling wave theory is explained by the von beskesi so when the stabilizes strike on the vowel window the sound is transmitted through the scala vestibuli does not reaches the helicotrauma and uh, transmitted to the round window but the sound is uh, the waves in the scala vestibula is hit on the uh, vestibular membrane it produces a bulging in the basilar membrane it initiates a wave form wave form so due to the elastic tension in the basilar fibers initiate the wave that is the traveling wave initiate the wave this is the traveling wave the resonance point is the point at the basilar membrane with the, which initiate the wave form is the resonance point so initially the it is amplitude is weaker when it is going stronger and stronger particular blade it is reaches the maximum that place is initiate the wave form that is the resonance point In the high frequency sound the resonance point is close to the basal area high frequency sound close to the basal area of the basilar membrane so maximum displacement occurred to the basal area near the base the low frequency sound the resonance point is near the apex near the helicotrauma thank you for watching this video if you like this video press the like button and share your friends those who are not subscribe this channel please subscribe this video briefly discuss the physiology topic you must read the physiology textbooks thank you once again